The next day after happy hour, it was time to visit something very unique in Wyala, and that is the Elvis Presley Museum. We are in for a treat. We are at the Elvis Presley Museum, Wyala, with the very Elvis. Actually, they all call you Elvis, but you're really Peter. I that's know your right. secret. Yeah, that's yeah, true. <laughs> You step in his front door. This is his actual house. This is not a museum set up. It's his house. Wall to wall, there is not a spare inch to cover in Elvis's head or body parts or anything to do with Elvis. And a few of the convoyers came with us and it took them straight back. They were big Elvis fans. You could just see their faces light up. So where did the passion begin? Yeah, it began with uh, my parents, my neighbours' parents. Hotels used to have to shut at six o'clock and uh, they'd go up in the last hour for happy hour and there's some who had a little record player and when we used to babysit us, I'd go, there, oh, please put Elvis on, please put Elvis on. So he uh, got me He started Elvis. it, yeah, he's responsible. He, he's responsible, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me about this incredible beast behind us. This is a 1961 uh, Coupe de Ville. Uh, Elvis Presley actually bought this model in a four-door uh, when he got out of the army and he used to drive Priscilla when she first came to Graceland to high school and then of course go back and pick her up oh. in this model car. Oh, yeah. oh, can you imagine? How many pieces do you think you'd have? Oh, I'll be quite a few hundred in there. Um, actually I, I've got 98 clocks on Elvis in there. Wow. 98 now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know about you, but I can't help falling in love with this place. <laughs> Stick around because after the break, we go kayaking with the dolphins. Oh.